What about socialization? Are you even qualified to teach your child at home? What about college? As a homeschooling mom myself of six children who has always homeschooled, I can tell you that these are myths. Myth. Myth number one children won't be socialized. Homeschooling students are the most socialized students because they are constantly interacting with people of all different ages, whether it's going to the park or at a co-op, in your own home, at church, at clubs. Number two is that children won't participate in extracurricular activities. And again, this is a total myth. There are so many co-ops out there on any topic, art, history, science, and even if you find yourself in a stage of life where you can't really leave the house, maybe you're sharing one vehicle or it's very challenging because you have a newborn, I know that I've been there. Well, now we also have all these great subscription boxes that can be delivered straight to your door. For example, we are loving the Mel Chemistry sets. And if you're looking for a way to incorporate a little bit more science, maybe in those middle school years, and you want to be able to enjoy it with the whole family, then kits like this from Mel Chemistry are just really fantastic for that. Again, this is fun for the whole family. If you live in a state where you do have to fill in more for the science box, this is a wonderful option. Myth number three is that parents are not qualified enough to teach their children. Now, typically homeschooling students score on average 15 to 30% points higher than their public school counterparts. Homeschooling students score above average on achievement tests regardless of their parents' level of formal education or family household income. Number four is that homeschooling students will have a tough time getting into college, when again, this is a myth. Colleges actually really encourage homeschooling students to apply. And a couple of the reasons why is because they find that homeschooling students are more self-disciplined and self-motivated, and they also have the time to develop extracurricular activities. Number five is that only a small religious minority homeschool. And this is simply not the case. And it is a trend that is growing every year as more families pull their children out of these public schools. The largest reason is bullying and violence. And so there you have it, five myths when it comes to homeschooling. Thanks for watching. Bye.